Hello everybody. It's 20 past five in the afternoon and this is the first time I've picked up the camera. It's been uh, a really busy advent dying day. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, quite tired now, but I've got a lot done. So uh, I'm quite pleased with that, but I'm going to have an earlier finish today. Uh, I've got some jacket potatoes going in the air fryer and I thought, there's a lot of noise going on downstairs, so I thought I'll come upstairs, sit on the bed for half an hour while the jackets get going. I've made myself a nice cup of tea and I'm going to, um, oops, sorry. Lie down. Silly thing. I'm going to start again with this. I knew it was a stupid idea to start try starting that wrap last night when I was so tired and it was so late. But I never learn. Do you ever learn from your mistakes? I don't. <laughs> well, <laughs> it could be worse. I'm going to have a quick sip of tea. I've made myself a cup of Lapsang Souchong. Sorry, I'm holding the phone in a funny way and it's flopping about. In my uh, one of my autumnal Halloweeny mugs, it's uh, poisonous terror stools, something like that. It was a gift from my lovely friend, Rachel. I think she gave me them for Christmas, this one and the other Halloween-y one that I've got from Emma Bridgewater. And I had the absolute delight of knowing that they were waiting in my wardrobe all year long until October came. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Ah, dear. Right. I'm going to try it. Last night I couldn't even watch Vlogtobers properly because um, the internet was so poor that it kept freezing every two seconds. So I've put my laptop on. I'm going to sit and watch that. And I think I've worked out what I can do to get the shawl right. And um, fingers crossed. <laughs> I might actually start to make a little bit of progress on it tonight. I'll show you in a bit. Okay. I'm going to relax a little while now. I've still got undealt with Halloween decor that I need to find homes for so I can get tidied up in this corner. So I'm going to sort that right now. I'm just borrowing my phone charger plug to try these out. One, two, three. Ta-da! Very pretty, but a couple of the little leaf bits have come off already. So uh, there's one. As I unwind it, I'll have to do that. And the other thing is that <coughs> wherever I plug it in, look, you only get that much cable before the leaves and the lights start. So I'll have to think that through very carefully where I'm going to put them and how I'm going to use them so that it doesn't look rubbish. There. What do you think? I think that improves the garland. Especially now the garland is the right way round. Because I hung it wrong. <laughs> Back to front first of all. Managed to work out my plug situation. You blew up balloons for me? I'm really happy with it. Hello cheeky chap. He's got me. He's got me. He's got me. Yes. You getting mummy? You getting your mummy? Oh, what a beautiful boy. What a beautiful boy. Put some more pumpkins and things up here on top of the piano. I think that looks pretty. A 
probably said this before, but I bought this Indian corn back from uh, our honeymoon to America in 2008. I got these pumpkin lights up, changed the batteries, so they look really pretty. And my cross stitch is now leaning up against that little ginger jar. I'll turn the lights on. There you go, you can see it a bit better now. I like it with the lights glowing behind it. The pile is almost completely gone. I'm just gonna sort these last few bits out before I settle down for the night. I've got these and I don't think I've ever had them open. I don't know where to put them. I think they're quite big. But I thought maybe I would put them up on that pin board. See what they look like up there. Let's have a go. Too big for the pin board, but look at this. <laughs> it's a bit impressive, isn't it? <laughs> I'll show you from the other side. I and mean, I can just about get under there without banging my head on them. <laughs> Tell you what else I'll show you. I'll have to show you tomorrow as well. I put the uh, English paper pieced pumpkin here and it works like um, a bit of a sun catcher stained glass effect. Even though it's got a layer of interfacing and a layer of felt on the back, the light still shines through it and it glows. And it looks really nice. I had a good go at this earlier, got the pattern right, um, but as you can see, it's extremely wide. And without mucking around even more with the pattern, which I don't really want to do, because it's a great pattern just as it is, I don't. I think I'm going to end up with far too wide and shorter um, a rectangle for a wrap using this pattern with this particular set of yarn. So what I've decided I'm going to do is scrap the idea of pairing the pattern and this yarn together. Uh, I'm gonna choose another one that I was looking at for this um, particular project. And then I'm gonna get myself a Shepier's Whirl and a Whirlette to go with it and make, make this pattern in um, the proper yarn. So I'll, uh, I'm going to pull this back, I'm just going to have a quick shower and get into my night things. And I'm going to sit with a cuppa, watch a few more Vlogtobers and pull this back and start a different design um, for this project. And maybe tomorrow I will have an actual start of a wrap to show you. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I mean, we must get this nail varnish off, it's started to chip and I hate that. So I'm going to take that off before I have my shower. I will see you tomorrow and so will Zero. <laughs> Cutie. Get that. Ta-ta for now.